Welcome back everyone to Minecraft Feed the Beast. I've been doing a little renovating here. And I'm not sure how much is apparent right here. But you can see I dug this room down to the level of the basement. Here's the basement. Just so I have plenty of room to work with. And I've been doing some stuff here getting ready for this episode. Uh, stupid Enderman. Okay, so here I've got a new power setup. I've got an ender tank, which I hooked up to the refilling station in the nether. Here's the old, old portable tank. It's just here to act as a little buffer. And we've got four magmatic dynamos now. Interesting how they have different charge amounts. This energy cell looks like it's full. That's the same energy cells before. I've upgraded to the hardened energy conduits though. And you can see here I've got an assembly table going. Making some stuff here. I need this right now. And I've got the beginnings of a logistics pipe system. Uh, I've left a lot of stuff out just uh, to record and I've kind of got things laid out already partially just to figure out how it all works since I've never done logistics pipes uh, Sorry about that uh, So we've got a logistics pipes power junction here Very cheap to make nothing too expensive You need this to power the logistics pipe system here we've got a basic logistics pipe attached to it. These are a little bit expensive to make. Diamond pipes require two diamonds for eight, so it's two diamonds for eight of these as well, and some gold. You can use the redstone golden chip sets, which are a lot lighter in materials but require energy to make. Or the golden gears, which require a lot of ingots. I've been using golden gears up till now, but uh, that's why I've got all these golden chipsets here, and it looks like they're almost done. So, to power the logistics pipe system, I believe I've already mentioned you have to have one pipe connected to the power junction. And then after that, you can have any kind of pipe. They can be the regular golden ones. I think they could even be st uh, stone or cobblestone. So, what I want to do with this thing, the redstone diamond chipset, just take this extractor module mark 2 which is made like this the extractor module and either the golden gear or golden chipset and the extractor module itself is made like this so we got the mark 3 and why i want the mark 3 is if you put it on the chassis pipe any kind mark 1 through 5 i think they are it will pull entire stacks out of an inventory at a time, and I've got a chicken on the skylight I need to take care of. Oh, there's a creeper there, too. And you can see I, I'm trying out these Heliodor bricks. I'm not even sure if that's how it's pronounced, and it's from my mod. And I think that looks pretty good. Uh, a little bit brighter than I would have liked, but it'll do. So anyway, um, I believe I've already ex stored the upgrade on the, that. The module, I mean. I kind of feel like I'm slurring my words. So, I believe I've already got this pipe configured for... T well, actually, I want that to be a provider pipe, I think. But you can see if I go ahead and put these iron ingots up in that ender chest, they're already down here. It took out a whole stack at a time, very quickly. So I'm going to want provider pipes, I believe. And this is part of why I was making all these chip sets. Gonna need some redstone torches as well. So let's get some redstone torches. I did put some stuff on these power armor boots. I've got jet boots and shock absorbers. I should have mentioned that earlier. The jet boots uh, let me go up 
But as you can see, if you're already falling, the best they can do is slow you down. So it's very limited flight capability, but still very useful. So what what am I looking for? Got some torches in there. Let's see, did I have any sticks in here? Huh, that's two coughs I'm gonna have to edit out already. Okay, let's go ahead and make some. I dumped all my stuff into that toolbox there while I went to go eat. I uh, once came back and to not this world, and it was a different mod pack, I don't remember which, and I'd starved to death while I was AFK. And I think I came back two minutes after I starved, so I was able to get my stuff back. But it was very close. Okay, so is that... It is shaped. That's a bit annoying. Okay, I don't know... I'll go ahead and make 16. I'm sure I'll use them all eventually. So I'm going to put a provider pipe over all these barrels. Using barrels for this might be a bit excessive at this point, but... Uh, I think it's okay. Not too bad. So this pipe... Um... Did I... Was I supposed to make provider or supplier? I forget. Hope I didn't make the right... the wrong one. Oh, and I still know I'm in cheaty mode from being in creative... a creative world. Um... Maybe it was the supplier that I needed. Let's see, was it made like this? Okay. Let's try this one. No. Okay, what what did I do wrong? Hmm. Okay, so if I put iron up there, it doesn't take it out because it does not know where to put it. Okay. Um, hmm, I'm kind of stumped here. What did I do wrong? Okay, I'm going to stop recording here, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I was kind of right with the provider pipes, because these are the ones that allow you to access the inventories from a request pipe, which is something I want. I want to be able to access all these inventories. But these pipes don't have any way of saying, put items here in this case. So, I think I need something else, and I will be back after I figure that out. Okay, I think I was kind of right with the provider pipes, because these are the ones that allow you to access the inventories from a request pipe, which is something I want. I want to be able to access all these inventories. But, these pipes don't have any way of saying, put items here in this case. So, I think I need something else, and I will be back after I figure that out. 
Okay, I think what I'm going to have to do is have two pipes on each of these barrels. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. And is there any way I can... I want to turn the barrel on the side if that's possible. Yeah, kind of like that. Come on, how do I do that? Um... Wow, I was so poorly prepared for this episode. Okay, I'm going to rearrange these barrels, put them on their side, just the way I want to do it. We'll be back in a moment. Okay, I've got these barrels in the weird way that I want them. I think it'll be easier to stack my system here. Like, if I need a, another row of barrels, it'll be easier to just stack them if everything's laid out horizontally, or at least that's how it works in my mind. So I'm going to put some basic pipes on the other side of the barrels here. And let's get rid of that torch and move all this stuff down here. Okay. And... This needs to be connected like that this. Okay, everybody's got power, everybody's happy. I think. Okay, and we can see the items in the request pipe. And... Let's go ahead and get rid of this barrel here. And... Put a golden pipe there just so that there's a, another route around. So, from the request pipe, we can say, give me 64 lapis, and let's get rid of that pop-up. And we have 64 lapis, and there are some other ways to get items out of here, too. But, that's good enough for now. And I probably will be putting some way of requesting items up there. What are you doing, pig? Don't do it! Oh. That pig... That creeper. That chicken. So much stuff. Driving me nuts. Okay, so here I want... Give me the pipe. I need a basic pipe on this chest, and... Let's go ahead and put it there, I guess. I think I will need a provider pipe on this as well. I could be wrong. Let's test that out to make sure. Okay, so can I see my axe in there? No. But if I do this... I can see the axe, okay. Give me that, please. Thank you. Okay, so I've got barrels, and there's one more thing I want to do on this chest. I want to set it to default route. And actually, I may want to rearrange that a little bit. Oh, <laughs> we could just see the iron just went in there. I need to configure all of these pipes to go where I want them. So now if we put the iron back in, it should go in here. Oh, why, why did you not go? Why do you not do what I want you to do? It should be able to go in that side of the barrel, right? Um, do I not understand barrels? So... If I have iron in there like that... This should technically be the top of the barrel, right? So that's where the items go in?
Uh, let's make an obsidian pipe to test it. I think that'd be the easiest thing to set up. I've got plenty of obsidian. I went mining for it recently. Okay, so now if I take out some of this iron, give you some iron, the iron went in. Okay, so why did you not go in here? Try it again. Okay, it tried to go in there, but, but it couldn't. Why? Huh. What am I missing? Okay, so if I put a barrel there, for example, what happens then? Still goes to the default route. And if I get rid of this barrel, what do you do then? Still goes to the default. Okay, so... Let's put the barrel here now. And a basic pipe above it, and say this is where the iron goes. Put some iron in. And it goes in no trouble. Okay, maybe laying them out horizontally was a bad idea after all. <sighs> okay, I believe I've got this all working correctly now. So if I put lapis in there, it goes into the lapis barrel. If I take out some silver, it goes into silver. Iron, goes to iron. Now, I've got this guy set back to default route. I've not got everything hooked up there yet. So if I put in dirt, dirt goes here. And I'm probably going to want another line of barrels up here, like... Uh, no, just in another row here. And I was kind of hoping I could lay the barrels flat, but it doesn't look like that would work. I thought it would be nice if it was stacked vertically with layers laying out horizontally, but maybe I'm just crazy. So what else do we need to do? I could actually use a few more of these pipes here. There is actually a way I could have set that up with only one pipe per barrel, but it would require these Mark II chassis pipes at the very least, and I'd already made all those provider pipes, so I thought I might as well go ahead and use those. Okay, and I need more cobblestone pipes. Huh. I didn't notice I had those extra diamond pipes there. I made some unnecessarily, and I'm almost out of diamonds, too. Need to do some mining very soon. But now that we've got an automated storage system that's partially functional, that should be very easy to set up. Oh, great, I've got the hiccup hiccups again. <laughs> Um, 
How do I want to do this? It's best to have a logistics pipe at any junction because of how... <laughs> I'm not finding my words. They are on vacation again. Uh, because of how random build craft pipes are, whenever you put something in it, and there's a junction like that, it they could go... If it's coming from the top, it could go left, it could go right. You don't know. It's just random. Every item. So, I do need... a connection here. And... I guess that's good enough. Okay, and... How do you end up all the way over there? Okay, one thing I think I will want is this logistics request table. Which looks kind of expensive. So I may not be getting that right away. So for now, I will take this request pipe and put it up there. In the original room. I guess I could, um... No, that would connect to the inner chest. Uh... Kinda hate to make yet another hole, but I don't see many other options. Something like that, maybe, and then I can have a chest below it to store these stuff so it doesn't just shoot out. There we go. Um, okay, that's not quite working like I thought it would. Uh, give me that pipe. This has been a horrible episode. Okay, let's do it like this, then. Nope. There we go, that should work. Okay, so I can come up here and say... I need some more redstone. There we go. 30 more, so I can restock this table. How many Endermen are up there? Where are they? I don't know. Sounds like a lot. I don't know where that extra pipe went. <laughs> that probably looks horrible. I will do whatever I can to pretty that up later, but no promises. Alright, I'm gonna work on this a little more and I'll be back soon. I should probably show that it is possible to move barrels with the gravity gun and they retain their contents. So that's what I've been doing. I moved one cobblestone barrel and one in my dirt barrel already. So that's a gravel barrel. And marble barrel, probably don't need that. I don't expect to get much more marble. Marble. So I can go ahead and just harvest this. And how many more of the provider pipes do I have? Six, okay. So that's enough to put some below these three barrels here. Okay. Grab that one. 
So that should all be connected. Let's test it out. Yes. Lots of dirt and cobblestone. Very easy to get. And I definitely need to do some more mining. I got lots of copper and tin and iron. But not doing so great on gold right now. And I've actually got a bunch of glowstone and block form here that I need to pulverize. Oh, here's some more redstone and lapis we can throw into the ender chest here. Send that to the barrels. Has it already gotten there? I guess so. No, that updated. Oh, there's a refresh button down here. Okay. Alright, I'll be back soon. I decide I'm just going to be doing a little bit of mining here at the end of this episode while I talk a bit. I've already recorded 25 minutes. Hard to believe it doesn't feel like it's been more than 10. So this morning, when I got up, something very strange happened. Start up my computer, everything looked normal. Opened up Chrome, and I had a YouTube tab open. I have my browser set to restore my tabs automatically. And it said SSL error, the security certificate from the site is signed by someone other than it should be, or something like that. And it was signed by star.suddenlink.net, so I thought, that's weird. Why does my ISP now own YouTube? <laughs> and did some research and still not quite sure what it was. It's very fishy what they were doing. Some terms that I ran across were man in the middle attack or MITM attack and DNS hijacking. And I was getting ready to change the DNS for all the computers in the house or I was also looking in the router settings to see if there was anything I could do from there, and noticed there was a firm firmware update for my router, so I went ahead and let it install that. And after it was done, the problem was gone, probably just a coincidence. Then later, someone else comes in and says that uh, they were using another computer in the house and it said that our usage was getting close to our monthly cap which is like 250 gigabytes which I think is fairly reasonable so I, I have a feeling those two incidents may be related either way it's still very suspicious I wish there was someone other than Suddenlink we could use but uh, there's not really, unless we want to go with Earthlink, which I think is like 3 megs. <laughs> anyway, I looked up the exact details, and it sounds like the... The overage charges are not too bad, something like $10 for every 50 gigabytes over, and you get the first three months of overages for free. And we've already had one. So, hopefully those messages won't cause a lot of trouble. I didn't uh, get a good look at them myself, but I heard that they just really prevent you from using the internet unless you go through a bunch of stuff. So, I don't know. I haven't seen them on my computer. I don't know why that is. I never see stuff like that on mine. It's always the other computer in the house. Well, we have more computers than that, but I mean desktops. I also have a laptop, which I use occasionally, and never seen anything weird on that. So anyway, uh, I think I've shown my branch mining program before. This is it. The turtle digs these little holes to place torches in every eight blocks. 
Didn't get any diamonds, unfortunately. And I don't remember if I set up the pipes above the cobblestone barrels correctly or not. I'm just going to go ahead and throw all the stuff in my ender pouch. And it's gone. It's found a new home for now. And let's go for another round. Okay, I think that's about all I'm going to record right now. Probably going to have, I don't know how long after editing, 25-30 minutes. I always feel like I'm going to edit out a lot more than I actually do. And I always feel like my episodes are much more boring than I actually think they are once I start <laughs> viewing them. Alright, I will see you guys next time, and hopefully I'll have more diamonds.